Hello and welcome to another episode of Not BIOS. Today I'm going to be discussing the do's and the don'ts of the 27GL850. What settings overall will work best for you? And you may have some computer settings that will affect you no matter what screen you use, especially at high frame rates. Now let's get started. Do make sure you're running at full resolution, 1080p will still work, your refresh rate at 144Hz for best performance. Do make sure your output color format is RGB and your output dynamic range is set to full and not limited. 10-bit versus 8-bit will give you a bit more color but may cause a slight performance decrease. When running NVIDIA cards, make sure you enable G-Sync or G-Sync compatible. For Radeon cards, make sure you're running under FreeSync. Do adjust your monitor settings. Gamer 1 is saturated colors. Gamer 2 is close to accurate, but not fully accurate. FPS, again, is saturated. sRGB will give you the most accurate colors. When you choose what mode you want, now do adjust game settings. Do enable sync adaptive sync. This will give you the free sync or G-Sync compatible settings. Do change your black equalizer to 55. You go lower, you suffer from black crush. Go higher, and you lose your black and white spectrum. Do not use faster. Use fast or lower. Fast is the best for gaming response. Do put your brightness to a reasonable level that works for you. Do keep your contrast around 70, as that is a very accurate contrast. Do keep your sharpness between 50 to 70. That will give you the best results. Go too low, and images will look blurry. Go too high, and you'll have halo around sharp edges, such as text under certain circumstances. If not using a Radeon, video card, do use DisplayPort. Either way, DisplayPort will give you the best results. If not using DisplayPort, you'll be limited to 8-bit color under full resolution. Do be mindful that some antivirus programs will cause lag because it is scanning everything you do. Also, be mindful of too many programs running in the background. And do be mindful of overly aggressive power savings. And do keep in mind a higher frame rate with 144 Hz will result in a possible higher CPU temperatures. Keep in mind you don't want your CPU or motherboard getting too hot. If so, you will suffer stuttering and performance issues. How do you change BIOS settings? Well, if you can see in the bottom right corner, it says press F2 or delete to go into setup. So now I am in the BIOS. In my case, I have to go to the RAM settings. The timings here, by default, this timing right down here was 97. I have to change this. I do the CAS latency plus the TRAS equals the TRC. 
These are the settings I use for RAM timings slash memory timings. What you want is the cast latency plus TRAS equaling the same thing when added together. But if you look at my XMP3200, it says 97. 14 plus 31 does not equal 97. This caused me severe lag and stuttering with this screen, let alone any gaming whatsoever. So I adjusted my timings to the 14 plus 37 equals 51. I increased my cycle time TRAS a bit to improve stability. Thank you for watching this episode of Not BIOS. And remember, do have a great day.